My name is Oren Shanks. I'm with the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. We're here today. We won the award because uh, we developed a series of genetic tests designed to detect and quantify fecal pollution in environmental waters. What's special about these tests is that they can measure the, the amount of pollution from a particular animal group. And uh, we've enjoyed a lot of success with these methods, and to date we have over 20 uh, licenses. Well, a lot of people don't think about fecal pollution, uh, but it turns out that it's the number one biological contaminant in our country. Uh, there's over 850 billion gallons of untreated sewage discharged into our waters each year. Uh, in addition, there's over 1 billion tons of fecal material generated by livestock and agricultural operations. So this is a massive amount of waste. This waste can harbor pathogens that when it's discharged into the waters, can lead to public and ecological uh, you know, poor health outcomes. Uh, in addition, there can be severe economic loss, especially in communities where, where they rely on clean and safe water for their economy. Uh, so because it's such a big issue, the EPA has a responsibility to develop tools to help water quality managers uh, deal with these issues, and that's exactly what our technologies are designed to do. So if you're at a beach and you're sitting there in your chair and you see people in the water, you see dogs running on the beach, you see seagulls flying over, you maybe see a little st stream trickling of the urban runoff into the water there. What most methods do is they'll measure the total amount of pollution cumulatively from all of those different sources. What our technologies do is go in and say, okay, what is the contribution from the dog? What is the contribution from the humans? And what this does is it provides additional information to, to managers to allow them to prioritize and focus remediation. We have a great team of professionals at the EPA. You know, doing technology transfer requires expertise in a number of different fields. You know, it started with the scientists, but if we didn't have the guidance from our regulatory uh, and policy decision makers in Office of Water, our legal expertise from our Office of General Counsel, and then just the experience and know-how of our FTTA and cluster programs, we wouldn't have got anywhere.